Gemini, this is all about you. This is your weekly oracle and tarot card reading from Born Without Boundaries. Gemini, this is an oracle card spread, so it's an energy reading, not a horoscope. So this is for Gemini, sun, moon, rising, or wherever Gemini energies influence your natal chart, you can apply these themes for the next week or so, okay? But I make a new Gemini video every single week. So if you want them fresh off the press, please click subscribe and ring that bell so you get notified as soon as I upload your favorite content. This is the oracle card reading. And I also offer uh, an extended reading. So please do join me for the extended after the Oracle card reading. It's a full tarot card spread that dives deeper into the energies of this reading. It articulates it more and it, it personalizes it more. And it also includes a romance specific reading as well. So I will see you guys over there. Gemini, this energy is for you. Slow and steady wins the race. Um, that's your crowning energy. This right here is emotional stability. It's happiness. It's a contentment with yourself. It's a sense of maturity that has come from living quite a few years and getting to understand things in a deeper context, deeper as in emotionally and psychologically, just being comprehensive, uh, like empathizing, being able to empathize more so that less puts you off and that you're less disconnected and you're more understanding of the things that other people go through. And in some ways it's given you a sense of emotional stability because there's another way to connect. There's a way to understand people. Now, this is an energy of feeling quite secure. It's a sea turtle. So it's not a turtle, which means that you don't hide in your shell. You're not trying to block yourself from the emotions that swim around you, but instead you're pretty accepting of it. It's taken you a long time to get here. Turtles take a long time to get everywhere. They move really slow. But this is also a sense of, of you're focused on the race. You're not focused on the win. It's not, it's like, it's not. You committed yourself for the long haul. It's not about quick and easy or the quick and easy turnover or um, certainly not instantaneous gratification. This is gratification in the moment, gratification in the flow, in the current. It is not gratification through a destination, a win, or any kind of um, profit or outcome. It's a really secure energy. So this is a nice energy. It's also saying that whatever you're about to get into is long-term. It's something that you're okay being long-term. You don't need to see the end because your level of comfort with this topic is a level of comfort with whatever you're getting into that doesn't require anything back because everything that you want to get back is all around you all the time. It's just in the activity of doing that you're profiting or feeling good or the good things are coming. So that's a really calming long-term energy for you, Gemini. Wow. Things are coming out very nicely. Gemini, there's something here that's working out very well for you abundance that's coming into your life once again abundance that you've worked very hard for um let me show you why first we have freedom is yours so th clearly there was a sense of at least recently you feeling liberated, feeling free. This is Aquarian energy. So this could be truth. This could be truth coming out, setting you free. This could be understanding the truth or having a deeper relationship with the truth. This could be, um, this could just feel you've just gotten single or you just broke out of a job that you hated. The wind is in your hair. The air is under your hooves. You're running so fast. You're flying. This is a sense of not thinking thinking, not looking, just moving forward, liberation. Energy of three plus three is six. So that is, could have to do with love. A romantic relationship that you just got free of, a romantic relation. Now this, isn't, this doesn't just mean that you just, hold on. Doesn't necessarily mean that you um, just got out of this relationship. 
but it does mean that now you're free of it. So it could have taken you a while to get here. This is a sense, these two cards in combination is it took you a little bit of a while. It took you a while to reach this destination. And it's not even a destination, it's just a place or it's a mentality, it's an emotional construct. It took you a while to really get over it because it puts you through the ringer. This six, two, six plus 62, six plus two, the energy of eight is implying that it had to do with timing. There, there was a sense of it took time and the destiny is like, it's, it's destiny. So it took a while for you to get into, a, for everything to come into alignment, for you to really be free. You were stuck in a circumstance, a relationship, a situation that matured you, taught you a lot about yourself, challenged you, and you could not wait to get out of. But simultaneously, it held on for a long time. For, what, for whatever reason, for whatever context, this was a relationship, maybe with a job, maybe with a lover, maybe with a husband or wife or a spouse, this was a relationship that took big chunks out of you and took, um, took a long time to, first of all, move on from, and second of all, find a way to readjust and feel good about yourself again. So... Um, like I said, it doesn't necessarily have to be a romantic relationship, though there is a romantic connotation in that energy of six, but it's, uh, you're, you're finally feeling liberated from it. So it's not that you could have gotten divorced five years ago, but it's like it's finally over. Emotionally, socially, ethically, maybe financially, the constraints are finally gone. This could have been a karmic partnership where you just kept going back to the person. Like you just, for some reason, they, they had hooks in you, you had hooks in them. You just kept returning back to each other. And now you honestly feel like you're somebody else. And the weight is completely off your shoulders. And you're, you're, there's just so much happiness here. It's almost like being let out of prison. Trust in the magic. This is a new beginning. A total restart. Something new. And look, six plus six, energy of 12, adding up to three. Understand that this is the energy of like divine, divine balance. Body, mind, and spirit, all in unison, all in sync. Like I said, finally aligned. Um, you're in the right place now. You're in the right, you're at the right time. And this could be, and I've been getting this reading for you for, for you guys for the last couple of weeks, a new relationship starting, a new opportunity that has come to you and just begun. And it's in those fresh stages of anything being possible. It's not about, and this is what I like about this energy right now, is it's not about it being exciting. It's about it being new new not in just a new relationship but a new kind of relationship a new kind of job because you have a new kind of mindset and that's why this new context is you're living in this new context you're new you're fresh and that's why the newness isn't just oh the next boyfriend or girlfriend or oh the next job it's a totally different mindset that you're going into this with that's that's the true freedom isn't it is that liberation that those chains in your head have been broken um be at home you're so comfortable here this is heart chakra energy finally finding finally feeling like you belong somewhere and even if it's running with the wind Gemini, you are at peace with yourself. This is something very, very close to home, a uh, very, very close to your heart space. Um, you have found a home. You found where you belong. You finally feel at home. And I think that that's what's giving you such liberation is now you know that you're finally okay after all the damage that was done. You finally reached a point where you have your priorities in place you know what you know what you want your future to look like and you have opportunities that are lined up for you 
Now, even if you're forced to stay home, like most of us are, this is feeling really good within your skin or feeling like the balance and the happiness has returned to your home. So you've gotten out the demons, you've gotten out the problem, you sussed out all the cancer and it's gone now and your home finally feels like a home again. So you can return to your house and just feel at ease. It doesn't, it's, it's, it's beyond any kind of, um, payment or like, like it's not, there's nothing like that. There's just this energy of, wow, wow. I feel good in my own life right now. Um, transformation is beautiful. You have awakened. This is your butterfly period. You've expanded. This is very scorpionic energy of the rise after the death. This is rising to a new level in a new way. You're flying now. And remember this, that's air energy as well. You're a diff, like I said, this is, this is not just a new partnership. This is a new you. And that's why it's totally different kind of new partnership. Not new as in just the next one, but new as in very different and, and refreshing butterflies can't hang around with the caterpillars anymore. You are flying toward people that have elevated to the next level too. You're not hanging around with the same kind of particulars or who has that you used to hang out with. You're hanging around with other butter, other butterflies. You're you you something has just dawned on you and it took you a long time to get there. Why? because you didn't feel settled in yourself. You didn't feel happy with yourself. You didn't feel good about yourself. You were going through a crazy period in your life. And now you're at a point where that's not the case anymore. This kind of acceptance and this kind of peace is leading to that external peace, that, that kind of peace that comes in community. It starts in here and then it comes, it goes outside. This is all about your transition, Gemini. This is because of your transition, because you have become somebody that is more awakened, more enlightened, and now you're just flowing with the stream. You got that wisdom, that understanding of life about you. Sweet results await. This is beautiful abundance coming into your life. This is B energy. So what that means is you've worked hard for the honey that you're about to feed on. And honey is coming into your life. This is a Leo energy, which tells me you're feeling really confident about yourself. You're feeling really competent about who you are. There's lots of abundance and prosperity as well as recognition for you being good at what you do. You're finding yourself feeling like you're in the sun, being warm, feeling protected, feeling comfortable for the first time in a long time, getting to suck on honey after you have worked your butt off, actually maybe even taking a break. This could be flying south. This could be um, going to some place that is warmer, uh, going on vacation. You could be going on vacation, Gemini, but this is definitely like life on vacation, um, being in a completely different place than you were a year ago. Um, so hold on. Uh, this is Truth Transcends Illusion, 22, energy of four. The truth has set you free and stabilized you. The truth has come out. You're free. You're out of the, it's, all, it's, like, it's like being out of the closet. Whatever closet you're in, it doesn't necessarily mean homosexuality. It means whatever you were hiding from the rest of the world, whatever you were struggling with, the door has been thrown wide open. The windows have been thrown wide open. And there's just fresh breeze all around you. The truth has really liberated you. And it's also like, it's also gotten you really good attention, like a positive, positive feedback from other people. Let it shine is coming in reverse. So this is seeing underneath the something. Um, kind of taking a deep dive, doing some introspection and not being afraid of what's there in the dark anymore. Really clearing out that closet space. That's also scorpionic energy. And this is in your, um, hmm. it's in your, your grounding position. So 
Ooh, what this means upside down is simply this. You found a place that you want to take root. You may have moved somewhere or be thinking of moving somewhere, maybe to a place that feels just warmer and cozier or someplace that you love. You've always think about you. You always remembered it and you've never been able to let it go. This is taking root, deciding to plant yourself there, finding the place that you want to grow long term. So that could be, once again, an actual place, an actual partnership, an actual job, or a relationship. Any of those things you can apply. It's a, it's, it's a theme with the energy reading. Um, but it's you finally found happiness, <laughs> I guess, is the way that it really boils down. And there we have also in your uh, root position, set healthy boundaries. There's been something that was burdening you like crazy. This is your energy that you've run away from or you were trying to run away from, um, but you finally, in other words, been able to communicate something that was sitting really heavy on your heart. And because you've finally been able to communicate, you're starting a solid foundation. You have both of these cards framing your your uh, grounding energy. You're taking root. You're plate. your... your, your um, setting your cornerstones down for your basement. You're drilling in and setting the, setting your future in stone. That's what you're doing. Um, determining, but, but this is the thing, you're determining it through freedom. You're determining it by opening up and relieving yourself of the boundaries, letting go of the burdens and the suffering. And what did I say? This is you being a totally new person, completely reborn. What was the closet that you were hiding in? You know, I once heard this TED talk that said a brilliant thing. And the woman said, we all are in the closet to some capacity. We all have parts of ourselves that we hide from the world. Some of those things are just more significant in others and burden us. Like we don't have to share everything, but what have we admitted it to ourselves and our, what are we hiding? You're not hiding anymore. You're revealed and you've found the power in being transparent that you don't have to hide or pretend anymore. You've oh, This could also be liberation. Like I said, you feel like you got out of jail, but liberation from a circumstance or a situation where you felt that you couldn't be yourself, that you were being smothered. Um, you're over that. There's a huge sense of that weight being completely lifted off of your shoulders. And now things are starting to come together, including the two dynamics of your duality of yourself is, is being able to love all aspects of yourself, being tender and to cultivate the future with the truth. Gemini, hold on. I'm going to flip the camera. Here you go. I know the camera's shaking a little bit. I apologize for that. Clear, crystal clear in your crowning energy is emotional stability, happiness, in and of yourself. Um, and then here in your grounding energy, lots of earth energy, literally one of the most powerful cards in my deck, taking root, planting yourself, knowing who and where you want to be for the next hundred years kind of energy. Um, having the resources to do it. Being liberated and freed and finally being able to come into everything that you truly are and that you love about yourself and being able to schedule out, because this is Virgo energy, commit long term and communicate that. that there's something here about communication because this is Gemini and Virgo energy of communicating like be, almost like almost like um, those famous baseball players who used to point in the direction of where they were going to hit the ball. You're communicating. You're so confident of your future. Or this is such a, yeah, like, yeah, so confident of your future that you are able to um, say it out loud. Make it, make it a statement. So you could be signing a contract. You could be getting married. Something getting married. There's, there, it's, it's almost like not afraid to make the outward statement of what you're 
what you want to do or what you want for your future because now you're so comfortable with yourself. This is complete transcendence of one's own being. So if you'd like to continue this journey, uh, Gemini, I hope you will follow me over to the extended, uh, see how this is going to play out. And then we have your romantic reading as well. Join me, please. The link is below. I'll see you guys there.